Hey everybody. Today we are gonna to talk about water hardness, and in particular, we're gonna talk about how we measure water hardness. Uh, I've had a problem since day one, since I got involved in this hobby with the way water hardness is measured in total dissolved solids. It's a terrible way to measure water hardness. And first I'm gonna explain why, and then we're gonna do a really quick experiment, and I'm gonna show you why total dissolved solids is a terrible way to measure water hardness. First of all, water hardness is a measurement of the calcium and the magnesium that's in your water. Iron plays a role, but iron is usually such a trace element in our aquariums that that's not really part of what makes hard water, typically speaking. Generally, when we think about hard water, we think about calcium and magnesium. The total dissolved solids measure the total number of dissolved solids that are in the water. It doesn't separate out calcium and magnesium. It tells you the total amount of everything that is dissolved in that water. So when you go online and you see these little charts that tell you, you know, zero to 50 uh, parts per million TDS is very soft water and 50 to 75 uh, parts per million TDS is moderately soft water and so on and so forth. It goes all the way up to about 200, 250 parts per million. And by 200 or 250 parts per million, that's considered extremely hard water. And yet it's just, it's a terrible way to measure it because you don't know how much of any of that is calcium or magnesium. I have tanks that have zero degrees hardness, but have over 1500 parts per million total dissolved solids. And like I said, I'm gonna show you a really good example of how total dissolved solids is a terrible way to measure water hardness. So let's go on over to my workstation and I'll show you over there. All right, everybody, let's see if this works first time. Don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this or not. This is distilled water. This is my TDS meter. And I don't think you're gonna be able to see it while it's in there, but give it a few moments to really get an accurate reading. Press hold. zero parts per million total dissolved solid. So we don't need to do a water hardness test on this because we can see that there's obviously nothing in it. It has to be zero degrees hardness. It's got zero anything in it. So there's no degrees hardness. There's no nothing. This is sodium chloride. It contains no calcium and it contains no magnesium, which is what makes hard water hard. So quick sprinkle of salt don't even have to worry about most of that dissolving put the tds meter in here again and we press hold we've got 2485 parts per million Total dissolved solids in that water now, and you can see there's still salt in the middle. I didn't even put a teaspoon of salt in there. Zero degrees hardness. There's no calcium, there's no magnesium in that water. And it went from zero degree or zero parts per million total dissolved solids to 2489. And yet that is still zero degrees total hardness. So when you're looking at a TDS number and somebody saying I've got this amount of TDS in my water so it's that hard that's not necessarily true again TDS is an absolutely terrible way to measure water hardness you measure the calcium you measure the magnesium and you generally do so with a specific test that is to measure water hardness not total dissolved solids total dissolved solids just gives you a ballpark idea of the total number of dissolved whatever is in your water in this case it's sodium chloride, does not make the water any harder, but it does add a lot of total dissolved solids to the water. So there you go. I hope that was helpful and cleared that up a little bit. Again, remember it's magnesium. I mean, um, calcium and magnesium is water hardness, not TDS. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you're subscribed. Check out my Patreon page if you're interested. Ring that bell so you don't miss any notifications. And you know all the stuff to do. So I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.